Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Do Not Go Gentle series. So we are stepping up to our temporary bed in the Grey Mother's house. And we are going to take a second to drop some of our newest um, things that we found. Because, frankly, I mean, we just have a bunch of things on us. We found more matches that we don't need. But I just, I want to have a place for all these supplies. Not that it really matters, but I just can't help it. This is my long dark persona, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop this stack of papers as well. Being a little bit too OCD with where I'm dropping it, but doesn't matter. Let's also drop the cedar firewood, because we don't really need that on us at the moment. I'll keep the reclaimed wood just to start a fire in the, in the wilderness, in, just in case. Uh, we have six cans of accelerant on us too, so it should be pretty easy to start said fire. Should we get to that point? We also need to go ahead and drop off... I'm going to put this over here. We're going to drop Will's coat, because we've got the windbreaker now in the place of Will's coat. So it'll be funny, because in the cutscenes, he's probably still going to be wearing it. But um, we're better off without it at this point. So I also have lots of additional clothing items on me that I need to harvest. So let's go ahead and take care of those for the cloth. And we might even drop some cloth off, because we're carrying a ton of cloth. It's a little bit silly how much cloth we have on us. Let's harvest this. I really hope I didn't harvest something just now that I needed. I just did a lot of harvesting somewhat absentmindedly. That has gotten me into trouble in the past. Let's take a quick look. No, we're good. We still have all of our stuff. <laughs> didn't have any items mysteriously disappear. All right, so that's a lot more cloth. I don't need to repair anything. I mean, got a lot of stuff at, like... <laughs> I could repair the thermal underwear if I really wanted to nitpick, but it's it would not make a big difference. Ah, uh, okay. I do need to eat a little bit. Um, the dog food is wet, so this will give us a little bit of thirst quenching and a lot of calories. And also takes care of 0.66 pounds of encumbrance. Let's drink this water as well. We're carrying a lot of water on us. We're carrying a lot of everything on us. We have a huge amount of supplies. Alright, so now at this point, I also need to get rid of some of my cloth. So we're going to drop... 20 cloth. Also, I forgot about the other pry bar that I picked up, which we don't need, so let's go ahead and drop that. Scrap metal, I don't, I probably don't need scrap metal, to tell you the truth. Let's go ahead and drop that too. Uh, I don't even know that I need the simple tools at the moment, but I'll keep those on me just in case they come in handy once we are at a different place where they might, where I might just reflect differently on their usefulness. Rose hip tea, we still have. So we're pretty good now in terms of encumbrance. We're doing better. We're just carrying a lot of food. That's the main thing. Yep, got the can opener, got the whetstone, cured leather, reclaimed wood, rose hips, not even that heavy, sticks. I could drop these and we'd be under our limit, I think. Oh no, we would be just, <laughs> we'd be just above it if I dropped all the sticks I'm carrying. Let me go ahead and drop all the sticks I'm carrying because I just don't need them. I just don't. And then let's take a look at everything we're carrying and see where we could get rid of weight first. We could get rid of the tool, the toolbox and maybe take it with us on the way when we leave. Tell you what, that's what I'll do. I'm not going to put it here with the rest of my stuff because I, I want to make absolutely sure this is the one thing I don't forget. But let's drop the toolbox at the door. Like that. So we remember it's there. Actually, I'll put it like, like so. And I said I was going to talk to the Grey Mother really quickly, so let's do that. All right, we've already talked to her about those. All right, so she gave us... She said take some soup before you go. Um, I'm assuming it's just something she gave us in the previous episode. Yeah, there's nothing here that I can actually, like, outright pick up, because it's all hers. Actually, I'm curious. Did opening her fridge just now piss her off? Let's see. 
Nope, it didn't. So let's take a look at our trust with her really quickly. Right now we're at 134. Our next level uh, is 175. So we either need to give her, we can give her bandages. Actually, you know what? That is a good idea. She likes bandages. Let's just make a bunch of bandages. I might have to drop some gear. I just picked up a stick by accident, but that's fine. We're going to make a whole bunch of bandages with the cloth we've got. That's a better use of our materials. I forgot she liked bandages, so that's going to give us a ton of trust with her. So if we go to crafting, it's going to take one cloth. Oh, wow. It only takes one cloth to make a bandage. Holy crap. Can I, can I do bulk crafting? I can't remember if you can do that yet. No, it'd be amazing if we could. So this is, it's actually two bandages from each one cloth. So this is huge. She's, our trust is going to skyrocket with her. It's five trust for a bandage too. <laughs> so if we, we get 60 bandages out of this, we can get 300 trust just from giving her every bandage we possibly can if we decided to go that route. Then again, I could just craft 10 and keep the rest of the cloth for myself. That's also an option. I can't stop. Like, I know that every time I click this button, that's literally like 10 more trust with her, as soon as I give these to her. And the other benefit of what we're doing right now is we're passing some time, so we need to eat some of the food and drink some of the water we have on us before we go anywhere because of just the sheer amount of stuff we have on us. Um, we're not encumbered anymore, as I've been discussing, but it doesn't change the fact that we really could benefit from getting rid of some of the stuff we're carrying. All right, so how am I doing on cloth now? I've got 12 pieces. Let's go ahead and leave it at that. Trust. Next. Give items. Bandage. Oh, yeah. Excellent. So now, hang on, let's see, she's got 329 trust in us now. Let's take a quick look at how much more we can unlock. We've got the second to last, we're not even that far away from mountaineering boots. So perseverance mills, world building information about persevering mills, or per, uh, per, persevering mills. Perseverance mills, that's the word. Uh, cash location, yep, she told us about that. Side mission, distress pistol, requires 175 trust to unlock. Also on our map. Oh, okay. So this is the tunnel collapse. Oh, I didn't even know this was here. I'm all right. So this is the crash site. This is the Milton supply cache. The Milton supply cache is okay. So now we know where those are. The shortwave tower is also so we need to go. We're here. Okay. Yeah, so there's definitely more supply caches we need to look at and we can get those in this episode. I am so glad I found that map. So there's not a charcoal map. There's just a game map. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's talk to her. Trust. What can you tell me about Great Bear? Nothing you can't read in the history books. Uh, oh, for goodness sake, take this one. All right, so she gave me a history book, I guess. Um, protection. There are a lot of wolves around. Watch out. People say they can smell your fear. You think I could borrow that rifle of yours? You leave an old lady defenseless so you can protect yourself? Shame on you, Mackenzie. Of course not, but it would be nice to have a bit more protection out there. Surely someone else in this town must have owned a gun of some kind. Old Henley McDermott used to be with the Coast Guard. He kept a distress pistol around just in case to call for help. Right, Henry was always worried about kids getting their hands on it, so it won't be easy to find. Thanks. And then rabbit skin mitts. If you want to survive out there, you need to learn to be self-sufficient. Right. When I was growing up, we understood what that meant. When, uh, when something wore out, we couldn't just go online and order a new one. Have it magically drone delivered to your door. Bah! As a little girl, I already knew how to hunt rabbits and turn their skins into clothes. I'll tell you how it's done. All right, so... Drink his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. <laughs> so apparently I'm thirsty. <laughs> uh, oh, 
I should have drank some sodas first. Always, like whenever I'm really thirsty, I always just default to that, but it's never the right thing to do first. Let's go ahead and eat some of my lower condition candy bar items. And we are doing better on weight since we got rid of all that water. Uh, let's eat the sardines. We also need to cook the coffee. I'm not going to do that just yet, though. All right, so tell you what, it's pretty dark, and I need to recover some condition, so let's go upstairs. And I think I'm pretty good now on everything I'm carrying. So she gave us the recipe for making rabbit skin mitts, which would be better even than the wool ones that we're wearing right now. Where's the, where's the bed? I know I was standing next to it. What's happening right now? There we go. My mouse moved somehow. Stick? Where Where the hell am I? I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Bed. All right. <laughs> God. All right, let's go ahead and sleep for nine hours. That should get us through the night, fully recover our rest meter, and it should recover our condition meter as well. I'd be surprised if it didn't, which would give us the ability to go out and get those supply caches. I'm ashamed of myself for not spotting that map sooner. All right, the sun's definitely rising, so, and we also have an opportunity to do what I was talking about a second ago. Let's um, let's do it in a couple of ways. We need to get rid of some dog food cans, because they're heavy. I think I might go ahead and eat both of the ones I'm carrying, because that's almost a pound and a half gone. And then we will drink a couple of sodas. All right, and anything else? No, we're in pretty good shape, actually. Um, let's go ahead and drink just to top off that meter. And it doesn't look like it's bright outside, but I think it will be once we get out there. And again, we have plenty of warmth protection as well. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just lit a damn flare. That was my only one, too. I thought I was lighting my lantern. That's fine, though. We'll find more. We will definitely find more. And besides, we need to go out and find a, uh, a wolf right now. Or we need to go out and find some supplies. So if we encounter a wolf, that's what I meant to say. Maybe. Um, it's not the worst thing. All right, so we are currently here. Light up the night. Interesting. What road was that down? All right, so we can hit M to pull up the map. It's right down that road. It's in the second house there. How's the temperature? It feels like negative one. Considering how cold it is and what time of day it is, I will take that. That is awesome. See, I feel like the light up the night house that we're looking at, uh, I feel like that's already been explored. Yeah, we've already been through this house, too. See, we're here now. Already been through that. Light up the night. Interesting. Well, so this might be... Hidden that weapon in here oh, no, this is where the... That's right, there's a flare pistol in here. He didn't want the kids to get to it, so I'm guessing it's somewhere up high. There's a tinder plug. We've already been through this house. That's a summit soda that I missed before. Yeah, it is. So I say we've been through this house, but apparently I haven't. Because I was not paying attention. Search cabinet. Nothing back there. We actually haven't been through here entirely. This will come in handy. I'm gonna leave the vest. I just don't think I need it. I, I picked up the scarf because we could potentially get some cloth from that. Ragged sports socks. Yeah, starting to find lots of items that I just don't need at this point. Alright, nothing in the drawer. Now it could be under the bed. Perhaps. Ready to check this cabinet, right? Thought I did. 
Oh, cool. Some shoes. Running shoes, in fact. Um, didn't really need those items I just picked up. Um, what else could it be? I mean, it has to be up high. He has to have put it somewhere, because, again, he's trying to hide it from his kids. So it has to have gone somewhere where... little people couldn't reach it. Open microwave? Did he put it in the microwave? Nope. It's not in any of the cabinets. It's not on top of the fridge. It's not behind the oven. It's not in the metal pot. This flare's lasting a while. I'm impressed. Already been through that drawer. Maybe it's out back? Maybe he had... Is that a basement? That's a basement, but we can't get in it. Let me go back here. Let me see what's on top of this hill. There's, there's a dead deer. I saw the crows last episode, I think, so I knew that was there. All right, it's in the house. You'll be okay, Will. All right, it's in here. Damn thing is in here somewhere. It's not... I don't think it makes sense for it to be under the table or anything like that. Um, it's not under the bed. It's genuinely not... Hang on. There's no way for me to see if it's... Yeah, this is so weird. Where could it be? Wait. Search hidden cache. There we go. Thank you. Distress pistol. And we've got some flare shells as well. Two, three, four. Nice. Four flare shells immediately. That's excellent. Alright, that's cool. So, next stop. Flare's going out, finally. It's the beginning of the day, so we still have some other stuff to, to explore. Alright, so Light of the Night has been completed. Let's go for this supply cache that's across from the pond, behind one of those houses. So I'm going to go back this way, to where I, where I was just climbing that hill. Technically, I could harvest the deer corpse if I wanted to. And there could be wolves back here, so I need to be careful. Map. We are headed back this direction now. Where is it exactly compared to... Okay. There's some rocks. Hang on. Let need to look at this carefully. Okay. It's like right there. Oh, more cattails. I did miss some. Just a few episodes ago that I was like, did I miss any cattails? If you guys saw these and I didn't, you were probably screaming at me a little bit. Hey, there's another one. Unless they respawned, which is possible. Uh, I feel like these might be new spawns. This is... If I overlooked all of these in one go... These are thicker reeds, I have to say, so maybe that's how I overlook them, but... I don't know. It feels like, I feel like these were... I feel like these are new additions to the game world. Maybe as a result of us advancing with the story a little bit. See, that's a rosehip bush, though, and those didn't respawn, so who the hell knows? Okay, so... Where are you? Dude, I can't freaking see you. Where are you? going after the rabbit. I had a feeling too, but all right, see now I ha now it's going to be a little precarious. It's like Yeah, he's eating. His growling noises are scaring me, man. Come on. 
making me think you're coming after me, but you're just enjoying your meal. The rabbit's already dead. You don't have to scare it while you're eating it alive. Just eat it. All right, so there's the radio tower we still need to investigate as well. All right, that's kind of inconvenient because this area here is where I needed to check for that supply cache. So let's step back. Weather's getting a little better. Um, all right, so supposedly this supply cache is in the Miller's backyard. So it's it has to be back behind one of those houses because that's got to be the Miller's house. So if I just kind of poke around the ground, I might see something that says hidden supply cache. Part of me is just looking for a prepper cache. <laughs> That's maybe one of the reasons I didn't just do this first. Oh, okay, now the wolf's going to interfere. See, I'm trying to just make progress and, and do things and, and such, but... Uh, yeah, see, I think the supply cache is right there, like amongst those trees, but there's a wolf there. It was like 20 degrees, so I couldn't rest right now. We'd get pretty cold. We'd probably get hypothermic, in fact. Where are you going, buddy? I'll tell you what. Since you're here, since you just threw off my mojo a little bit, let's... So there's a um, the tunnel collapse. That's the Grey Mother's quest line. Why don't we try and go up to the... Where's the radio tower? Is it over there? Yeah, there it is. Let's try and get up there. Let's do that instead. Hopefully there's not a wolf on the road again. If there is, then we will dart inside a house. If possible. Alright, I feel like in order to get up there, we're going to have to go up this way. So let's do that. Might be a little farther up this way, in fact. Yeah, I think we have to go all the way up this hill. That's fine by me. I don't know if there's actually a point where we could go inside for a bit. I don't I don't know what's going on up here. It might be a structure, it might not be. Yeah, we totally, totally have a flare pistol. We don't need to use it, but we've got one. All right, so I think if we step up here and then veer right and avoid any encounters with woodland creatures of the large or small variety, dead variety is okay. Are there, yeah, there's cattail stalks here. So hang on, let me step up here and see if there's any wolves around. I don't see any creatures stalking. Let's stop and get some cattails really fast. There's some rabbits around, too, and I feel like if there were wolves around, they'd be running around screaming. Literally. Because <laughs> that's what they do. Cold is making my head feel thick. Lots of cattails. If I were in interloper mode, I'd be in heaven right now. But instead, we're in this pseudo-voyager, pseudo-stalker story mode difficulty. And I'm still getting cattails because I can't help myself. I need to drop some. <laughs> right, here's some rose hips. Let's go ahead and grab these. So I think I think um, aren't prepared rose hips one of the things you can also give to the gray mother, if I'm not mistaken. I think they are. Wow, there's tons of cattails here. Holy mother of God. This is insane. I've got so much food. I don't even know. I legit do not know if I need this much food. 
I just can't stop. When you play at a difficulty level that requires you to do this kind of thing whenever you see this many cattails, I challenge you to be able to control yourself when you're in that habit. <laughs> so I think most of us would probably do the same thing. If you're used to playing on Interloper, you see a bunch of cattails, you pick them all. <laughs> Regardless of whether you've stepped down in difficulty level after that. You just can't stop it. Let's get these rose hips. There's also some old man's beard over there. Any more? Some of them successfully hid from me before, apparently, so just double checking. Now we're good. Excuse me, guys. Don't mind me. I'm going to ignore the deer for now, but we're going to pay a visit to the radio tower and see what we find. Okay, so that's three old man's beard like it. Let me check on this really quick. I would like to see... Let's also drop this flare because we don't need it. Let's take a look at our materials here. 0 0.07 pounds. Okay, now if we go into crafting... You'll be okay. Actually, maybe you won't. Hang on. Crap. Yeah, that took a little longer than I thought. All right, so that's 0 0.07. Now what is it? So that's... Um... Yeah, actually, it's heavier once you make the old man's beard wound dressing. Interesting. So that actually increases the weight of those items. That was my little experiment. Let's get the rosebud hips. Rose hips, rosebuds, whatever the hell they're called. Rose hip buds? Is that what it is? Harvest rose hips? Maybe I just added buds at some point and didn't realize it. I don't need this. I'm, I'm good on... I've got so much wound dressing. I just need to step up here and see... Pretty sure I saw the... T yep, there it is. Is there a structure? Can I go inside somewhere? Alright, there's the pile of rocks. Oh, and a dead guy. That's not a pile of rocks. That's just a corpse. I wonder if it's the guy that left the note. Fire log, accelerant, ragged work gloves, antiseptic, water purification tablet, flare shell, fire log. Oh, wow. Holy mother of God. All right. Well, I found some things. A couple of things. It was like 23 degrees. I need to go down and rest somewhere. Oh, hey, look. A hunting knife. And they said there wasn't a knife. Some of you guys told me there wasn't a knife in episode one. You lied to me. Either that or you never found this corpse. That's cool. All right, so we found that. Or that's been added since. That's possible. Now, what was the note? Hang on. We, we picked up a note. No, not there. Under a pile of rocks in a cave near the radio tower. Oh. Oh. That makes more sense, but that's good, actually, because that'll give me a stopping point. Let's see if I can find the cave. Cave near the radio tower, under a pile of rocks, hopefully without a bear guarding them. <laughs> yep, there's the cave right there. Beautiful. Well, in case there is a bear guarding it. Got this thing loaded up. Whenever you get the distress pistol in sandbox mode or story mode, always make sure you load up your first round before you try to use it. Kind of an important step. Yeah, see, this will this will give me some shelter from the, the cold. It feels like 27 degrees right now. No, no, no. Put that away. I didn't... Oh, what's on the ground here? Some coal? Oh, interesting. I don't need the coal, but... There's a pile of rocks. Yep, it's probably that pile of rocks. I would imagine, since it looks a little bit different. Conspicuous. Search hidden cache. Military grade MRE water purification tablets, worn wool ear wrap, flare. Okay, got my flare back. I got a worn wool ear wrap as well, so we can actually have even more clothing on our body now at this point. Let's go ahead and wear that. Uh, we are warming up back here now as well. Let's go ahead and repair this thing a couple of times. Ultimately, you can find a couple of those. Oh, wow. No, just one repair is all it needed. Nice. All right, well, let's take a second before I end this episode to look at our clothing situation because I have some extra clothing stuffs on me, like I have these running shoes that I don't need. All right, hypothermia risk is gone because we're warming up really nicely in here. I can even rest in here. This is a nice little find. Now, the work gloves might... I don't know. These. I don't think these are going to be better 
I, I have some cured leather on me, so let's go ahead and repair him. Let's see what happens. Might have to repair him twice. Yeah, one more repair ought to do it. Or maybe two more. Let's see what they are like. Yeah, three more repairs. That's fine. I needed to get rid of some of the cured leather. And I just got two cured leather from getting rid of those shoes, so I'm fine. Okay, they're at 100% now. I don't think they're going to be better. Oh. They're more restrictive on movement. No, they're not They're not really better, though. I think I'd rather have the, the wool mittens on. All right, so this is going to be a little crazy doing this, but I'm going to harvest this. All right, let's... Um, anything else? I think I had some more socks. Yeah, I did. Love this track. And it went away. Oh, no, it's back. I'm going to drink these sodas to save some weight. I keep saying, I keep yelling at myself when I don't do this, so I'm going to do it now. i quench my thirst. And I'm still carrying a lot otherwise as well, in terms of just water. And these fire logs, too, are weighing me down. And I have 40 cattail heads on me, so let's go ahead and drop all but, say, like, 10 of those. Because I don't need them. Cattail stalks are pretty heavy, too, at this point. Got tinder plugs. Yeah, see, I can drop this paper as well. And this book. Just not needed. Fire logs I don't even need. Okay. Let's go ahead and munch on a few of these. Letting this episode go a little over time. Okay, that's going to be good enough. And now let's go ahead and throw down the bedroll. What's it feel like back here? 59? Oh yeah, we're totally fine. So I could sleep for... Tell you what, let's sleep for 10 hours. And then we're going to need to wake up and drink really quickly. But I, I want to do this because it will help me get rid of the huge amount of water that I'm carrying before I start the next episode. I'm trying to get ready for a good start on the next one. So... Uh, yeah, drink one cup of herbal tea so we get a little bit of improved rest. And then drink that. Still carrying too much. It's good, though. It's all good. All right, so go ahead and sleep for eight more hours. And on that note, we are about 33 and a half minutes into this episode. I'm going to stop here, and in the next one, we're going to leave this cave, uh, go find the last few supply caches that we can. And at that point, um, we will continue our quest to find Astrid and leave Milton once we've uh, once we've discovered the last of our, our supplies. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Well, I guess I shouldn't say our supplies because they're totally other people's supplies that have been taken by me slash will mckenzie slash mark mir eh, anyway don't forget to subscribe to follow along if you enjoyed it <laughs> comments are always welcome let me know what you think new episodes out every day at three etc etc so on and so forth i'll see you next time